why we're excited to announce that President University CLC has its own YouTube channel now. From conversation to academic writing, our channel aims to harness your most essential English skills. Our tutors are highly dedicated to ensure that we give the best service possible. For our first ever video, Matthew and I are going to talk about the many ways to say how are you in English. We, the CLC Buddies, hope that you get something out of today's lesson. Enjoy! The first one is how is it going? This is arguably the most well-known alternative to how are you, an informal form of greeting very often used to greet an individual you already know. For instance, you can use it as a statement of curiosity in, hey Sean, how's it going? Similar to how's it going is, what's up? Now, the difference is that it's best to use it with someone of your own age. We recommend not asking your lecturer what's up considering its very colloquial tone. A more appropriate example is when you ask your friend, what's up, Jimmy? The next one is how's it hanging. Now, hanging in this context does not literally mean the actions of hanging something. Instead, it refers to how well a person is currently doing as they go through hardships. For example, Hey Cassandra, I'm sorry, I heard you lost your dog. How's it hanging, pal? Another alternative is how's life. Unlike how's it hanging, this phrase is an idiom where its word or words do not mean the way it appears to be. Life in this case is synonymous to one's current conditions, such as how's life treating you, Mark? In the same sense of the previous alternatives, how are you holding up is a phrase people frequently use when they are greeting someone who recently went through a difficult situation in their life, like losing their job or a member of their family pass away. The perfect example would be, how are you holding up, Shanice? I heard your company let you go last week. Identical to the previous alternative, how's everything and how are things are phrases commonly used when we're asking about how someone is currently doing in their life. However, the most common mistake we often hear is how's things, which is grammatically incorrect, since things should use are, not is. Some examples of its usage in a daily conversation are, we haven't seen each other in a while, Daniel, how's everything? And good afternoon, Uncle George, how are things back in the farm? Lastly, an informal alternative you may use is, what's new? Perhaps, if you like an update on your friend's life, you say, Hey Emily, I haven't seen you in so long. What's new? Now, Matthew is going to continue to talk about the formal alternatives of saying, How are you? Okay guys, let's switch gears. Formal ways of saying, How are you? is oftentimes more noticeable in a professional setting, such as a boss communicating with their employees during a conference or as an opening of an email to your lecturer. Just like informal alternatives, there are so many examples to formal alternatives. As an advice though, we don't recommend utilizing these formal greetings in regular conversations, as it is incongruent to today's day and age. In other words, it's just too old-fashioned. But without further ado, let's begin. All right, guys. So the first formal alternative we have in this list is how have you been? Perhaps you frequently heard someone ask how you've been. You can clearly hear the contraction of you've instead of verbalizing the words you and have separately. This is another example of an informal alternative because contractions typically represent modern lingo. On the other hand, there are those who choose to enunciate every single word. Therefore, it becomes how have you been? Thus, we can put this under a list of formal alternatives. For example, Hey Dr. Rogers, I have not seen you for so long. How have you been, sir? Another one is, How are you keeping? Not necessarily a formal gesture. However, British English speakers use this more often than American English. For example, Good afternoon, madam. How are you keeping? All right, so next on the list we have, how do you do? This formal and polite greeting is used when meeting someone you already know, or even someone you've just met for the first time. For instance, good afternoon. I am Kevin from the finance department. How do you do, Mr. Vargas? 
All right, so now we're on the last one from the list of formal alternatives. This might sound very peculiar, and it's, how do you fare? This alternative is a very uncommon form of greeting with an archaic verb fare, meaning to do or get along. We challenge you to ask your friend this the next time you see them and tell us about their reaction. An example would be, greetings, Henry. How do you fare this fine morning? Okay, great. Now that you've learned other ways to say how are you, hopefully you can take what you know and apply it in conversations and as of the formal alternatives in academic writing or even in formal occasions. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the CLC YouTube channel. We also have an Instagram page at CLC Press Univ, where you may find additional learning content and snippets of our upcoming YouTube videos. We here at CLC Buddies wish you happy learning and until next time!